All right, so I've yet to find a video on Range Rover Evoke uh, front brake job. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you. It's pretty easy, um, nothing major. I already took the wheel off, which I think is pretty obvious to most people. Lug nuts, wrench, all that good stuff. Um, this piece right here is just like a plate. It just kind of holds the caliper tight in the front. Um, it's pretty easy to pry off. You can um, take a screwdriver. It's going to be kind of hard to do with this thing in my hand. I'll tell you what. Basically, you pry these two ears out of each hole. And then this piece up here is just tensioned in there. Um, I'll pull that out and I'll resume after that. Thanks. All right, now we've removed this piece off, um, which basically the two ears go in these two holes and the piece goes up in here. Um, it's, I've pretty much already loosened the bolts. Um, Got to loosen a little bit more and then the caliper itself just comes off. Now the rear brake pad is inside of the caliper, so don't be alarmed if it's not loose. <laughs> All right. And then I'll remove that stuff and then I'll resume again. All right, got the bolts loose, top side. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> and then the bottom side. Let me see that, whatever. And it just comes right off. Well, I, I pried my screwdriver in there to kind of uh, show you what I did here. I just, in case you've never done brakes before and you don't know this trick, you can slide your screwdriver in here on the back part of the caliper and kind of pry it to where it takes the caliper back inside of the piston so it's a little easier to slide on and off. Sorry about the lighting. So. What I do is I leave this piece in and everybody's got their own way of compressing it. I just use a C-clamp. I just put a C-clamp on there and then I just push that back into place. And then uh, I'll resume right after that. Alright, so now we just want to pop this brake pad out the back. Slide that aside, as you can see, it's pretty much flush to the back, and now it's all the way compressed. And I'm gonna take our new pad, and fit it with the pieces in there. Now this is a 2013 Evoke, so it's still pretty new. Um, there's not much rust, not too much lubing that really needs to be done. Everything's been done regularly this is like the second time I've done the brakes um, so I'm just basically everything was already done prior so just slide that pad in and we'll take our front pad which slides in real easy pop out the old one as you can see it's not real bad but it's my wife's car she she does get a little heavy with the gas pedal at times because this thing's a turbo so she has fun with it. Oh, wait a minute. Wrong ones. That was the old pad from the other side. Help if I put the right thing in there. This is our new pads. Ceramics. Less brake dust, stays cooler. Overall, better pad. Sorry about the shoddy camera work. Okay. Now I got that in place. 
I'm going to take our front pad. I'm going to go ahead and slide that in first, as you can see. And it just slides in the ears, top and bottom. Didn't even really need to put no grease on them. Sometimes I'll grease the ear part of the pad, this part here. Um, so it's easier to slide in when I'm doing them like that, but this one I don't have to do because it's pretty simple. Oh, and we got a phone call, so video pause. All right, I got a guy that's on his way for tires now, so I'm gonna hurry this up. So I'm going to put this back on here. Um, try not to damage that. All right, I'm going to pause because this is just too hard to do with one hand. All right, and that's pretty much it. You just tighten the bolts back up, um, put that the new clip in place there, which is still pretty easy. I'll come back on here in a second, and because um, basically what happens is these ears go into here on both sides, and you just pry at the top and the bottom to get them back into place, which is pretty simple. So, all right, that's pretty much it for. Great job on uh, 2013 uh, Range Rover Evoke Turbo. All right, thanks. I'll uh, post some more videos on little things that I've done here and there. Um, also did a brake uh, oil change on it, which was interesting enough. There's a steel plate underneath the front end you got to remove first, but maybe I'll uh, do a video of the next one. So, all right, thanks. See you. Thumbs up, please.